Hey guys, and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we'll be running through some key techniques to use for better typography in your designs. These can apply to any design work from logos to text heavy brochures. So be sure to download the free guide from the description below that you can refer to at any time as well. Okay, I'll pass you over to Rory now, who will take you through these points. Thanks Ross. So we're going to cover three general rules, so to speak, that will help you in achieving better typography in your designs. Now there are lots of small details that make up a good design and even just relating to the text elements, but the points we'll cover in this video will all make a difference in how you approach type in your projects. So jumping straight into our first rule for better typography, and that is to use visual hierarchy. Now what is visual hierarchy? Well simply put, it's the order of importance placed on elements within your design, and done properly will help your audience use and navigate your work. With text specifically, you want to make sure there is a clear order of importance placed on it. It may seem obvious, but taking the time to break your content up into different categories can really help you organise and format it correctly. So this could be a case of labelling your text with heading, subheading, body copy, caption, wherever there's a need for a difference in visual importance. This is especially useful with pages of text, as you can apply consistent styling to all of the text sharing the same label or category, making your designs more uniform and easy to understand in the process. It's important to create contrast between these categories so that the order of importance is clear. You can do this with formatting such as font weight and style, size, colour, alignment and positioning to name a few parameters. Moving on, our next rule is to limit yourself to no more than two typefaces in a project. Now I know this may seem a tad over the top, and of course it is possible to create stunning work with more than that, but too many typefaces can easily ruin a design. And a lot of the time, you only really need a single typeface with a variety of font options, let alone two typefaces. Sticking to a limited number of typefaces, and even fonts, will create a more consistent and simplified look to your projects. It will also benefit your audience too by bringing familiarity to the design. There's a reason most brands stick to their core brand typefaces for everything they put out. It creates a consistent style for their audience to associate them with, and they've usually been carefully selected to reflect them as a business. Trying to go crazy with a variety of typefaces can lead to confusing and erratic looking designs with little to no thought put into them. Remember, it's easy to ruin a design with poor typeface pairings too. Moving on to our last rule, that is to prioritise legibility and readability. Now first of all, legibility is applicable to the design of the typefaces you use, as it refers to how easily the characters of any given text can be identified. Readability on the other hand is how easy it is for a user to read the text funnily enough. We often see designs where the interesting style, positioning or scale of the text is prioritised over how well it actually reads, and this is one of the quickest ways to put off your audience. Make sure the purpose of your work is being adhered to first. There's no point in making something look good if it can't be used as intended. So, use appropriate fonts for every situation. For example, larger headings can call for a more eye-catching and detailed appearance, while smaller body copy tends to suit something more simplified and thin in weight. Lastly, consider the spacing in and around your text. Cramming elements too close together or formatting your text poorly can also affect the readability of a design. Always try to give your type enough breathing room to let it stand out more. But that rounds up our rules to better typography in your designs. And if you'd like to learn more about how to master type in your projects, or just graphic design in general, then check out our free training via the link in the description, or visit graphicdesignerpro.com.